I mean, like, cut, you know, Ron, that's actually not the line. The line is this. And he was like, you know what? I'm not, not going to say it. that. <laughs> not going to do you it. Guys- the following episode of How Did This Get Made is sponsored by LegalZoom. They're helping keep the show free. If you go to LegalZoom.com and enter the code EARWOLF, you'll get a discount, and 100% of what you spend there comes directly back to the show. LegalZoom is the best place to help with your legal needs. They're not a law firm, but they provide self-help services at your direction. For more information on how to support this show and the rest of the Earwolf Podcast Network, go to Earwolf.com slash insider. Hello, people of Earth. Welcome to the second episode of How Did This Get Made? This is the podcast where we try to make sense of the movies that make no sense. I am Paul Shear. You might know me as Andre from the TV show The League or as the dad from Family Matters. I said lines like this, Urkel, get out of my house. 
Uh, I am joined, as always, by uh, Jason Manzukis, who you might recognize as Rafi from the league. What's up? How are you? I'm good. And uh, also, June Diane Rayfield, who you've seen on shows like Party Down and uh, Fly the Concords. Hi, Paul. <laughs> How are uh, <laughs> The topic. table just fell apart. <laughs> it's all right. Everything's, Everything's okay. <laughs> Everything's okay. So now, if you listen to our first episode, you know that we love crappy movies. If one of the main characters is completely CGI, we're watching it. If it's a direct-to-DVD sequel of an unsuccessful film, we're Netflixing it. The lead actor or actress of your film is currently starring on a VH1 rehab reality show. We're buying it on Blu-ray. That's how deep we go. And look, we're not trying to be haters. We aren't saying we're better than anyone involved in these movies. All we're saying is sometimes a movie is so bad, it needs to be discussed. And boy, oh boy, do we have a doozy of a movie to talk about today. Uh, you wrote into How Did This Get Made at Earwolf.com, and it was overwhelming. The next movie you wanted us to talk about was the Nick Cage, Ron Perlman, medieval horror thriller buddy road movie season of the witch i think it's all those things um uh this movie is kind of like an unfunny version of monty python and the holy grail mixed with all the boring parts of kevin costner's robin hood uh and i'm guessing most of you haven't shelled out 12 but i'm sure that you should so um basically the basic premise is that nick cage and ron perlman play medieval knights who must transport a witch to a remote abbey because she's causing the it's Black Plague. already a disaster. <laughs> she, even the explanation makes no sense. <laughs> now, no, but now here, that would normally be enough, right? But this is where it gets really dramatic because Nick Cage doesn't think she's guilty. So that's, that's the plot. There is the plot. And here's a little taste of uh, the movie in case you want to hear it. I am sorry I put you into this for so Those dungeons go. So bad. He's going to have some much worse places than this. At least I have. What is that smell? That would be you. Hilarious. <laughs> now here to help us make sense with this movie is our friend, host of the hilarious web soup on G4 and the wildly popular Nerdist podcast. Please welcome Chris Hardwick. Hi, thank you, Paul Shear. Thank you very much. It was much. an honor and a delight to go see <laughs> Dealing the Witch with you when you emailed me over the weekend and said... You know, will you please come see this yeah. movie? We were doing this podcast called, uh, you know, How Did It Get Made? I said, yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. These are the perfect circumstances to see this movie. I, You know, I would recommend people see this movie if they're making a podcast about how it yes. got made. That's about absolutely. probably the only people who should see this movie. By the way, I like we all saw it uh, this morning or this afternoon yeah. together. Shocked. I'm genuinely shocked at 2.30 on a whatever it is, Monday afternoon. A handful there of people, people there. at the movie. Probably about a dozen. A baker's dozen. This yeah. is a 3% on Rotten Tomatoes, and people were like, you know what? Let's Why go not? to the fucking Let's movies see. in Let's the middle of the day and see it. And, and I do want to make it clear. I don't just like to shit on things yeah. for, like, willy-nilly. I, I went to this movie with an open mind thinking, maybe it's not going to be as bad. And then, and then just, but but then right away, <laughs> right away. I, I right away, you mean during the montage of Holy Crusade murders? <laughs> I'll tell you, right away during, right away during the trailers, uh, crappy trailers are very telling about the quality of movie you're about to see because they know, like, eh, if these people saw this piece of shit, they'll probably see these other ones. You are dumb. Yeah, they're every, every, we saw four trailers, and they were all abysmal. Yeah, well, like, I gotta well, say, I feel like the title card sequences were the most visually arresting things that happen in the whole movie. Like, yeah. those are better than the rest of the movie. I, I have to say, I, I held out hope. I, the trailers were exceptionally bad. <laughs> yeah. But I, wait, wait, let's run them down. Let's run them down. What, what, what do we see trailers I've for? never heard of. I, a, and, and who have people in them that I was like, what? Dude, what actually, you know what? This? Maybe we should be careful running these down. I know. We're, we're friends with some of the That's what I saw in these too. movies. Yeah. So let's not run them down, but they were I not, will run them down. They were down. not good. <laughs> there was one movie There was one movie that I will say, I won't name who was in it. You can figure it out yourself. And then involved a man who took a pill oh. that makes him the <laughs> smartest man in the world. Okay. Okay, here's a pitch. Here's a pitch. Here's a pitch. Here's my movie. What if it, it's bonkers? <laughs> what if a man? could take a pill yes and uh -huh. instantly be the smartest man in the world no one else has access to this pill by the way it's gotta <laughs> it's be somebody guy. will make him look ugly in the beginning <laughs> and then he becomes incredibly handsome about ugly and slick as hair that's right yeah, he has he has long just hair. His hair. yeah. <laughs> well Bradley Cooper's pretty hot right now really let's put get him in. done put him Go. in put him in that is the worst idea because there's that line in the beginning yeah, of the movie yes. true where he goes 
You know, they only say you use 5% of your brain. Uh, what if this pill could make you use all of it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> terrible. Your, well, body, your, your brain would probably explode. You would probably lo- you probably would die because your body is not equipped to utilize. No, By the way, go and play the stock market I'm like this guy. I'm almost certain <laughs> that this is a Simpsons episode. <laughs> well, okay. that, that Homer becomes a smart person and, right? Remember, this yeah, is literally, the crayon, literally, I hit the crayon show literally a Simpsons episode. <laughs> what happens if you become the smartest person in the world by taking a pill that no one else has <laughs> access to is you fuck models on a private jet. Yeah, that's how it that's, works. That's how it works. Uh-oh, so, so, so Robert De Niro now owns you. <laughs> <laughs> Robert De Niro is suspicious but respects you. <laughs> but um, that will be for another day because Season of the Witch, every one of those movies we saw a trailer for, yes. by the way, could be a movie we do Contenders. on the show. Yeah, yeah very strong contenders. Um, yeah, I, I have to say that I held out hope for Season of the Witch. Up That first scene was kind of okay with the priest they kill a bunch of witches on a bridge. It's like, oh, maybe this is not going to be so bad. But that was before any of the main actors showed up. Yeah. That was just about crazy witches, like, spitting out devil juice and uh, and killing priests, uh, which, which I liked. I, my, I loved, by the way, the that this movie is not afraid to posit the idea that while we've understood that the, uh, the burning and hanging of witches was preposterous because there are no witches right. and lots of innocent people lost their lives, yeah. this movie starts with the idea of, you know what? Some of those women were witches, actually <laughs> yeah. demons. And you know, not these just guys, women with a point of view. They were actually well, witches. No, these guys might have had the right idea because guess what? One of those bitches comes back as a demon and kills everybody. I, I, the, two, right? There wasn't two of them. Like, I, so basically, the movie is the Catholic Church is right. Yeah. Like there, yeah. there are witches causing the Black Plague. Yep. Spoiler alert. <laughs> witches caused the Black and, Plague. And, and they're kind of presented in that arrogant way of like... Look, you know, um, I'm not saying nothing for nothing, but as soon as we killed the demon, the Black Plague went away. <laughs> like, it was, it was so arrogant. Yeah. If you've seen True Grit, uh, it has, like, the same kind of ending where it's a narration just sort of like, and life went on, and people were <laughs> Like, it's like, the, just the craziest ending of, like, that's it, we killed the big demon, and everyone was cured. Everybody's great. It's awesome, right? God wins? God wins. <laughs> because of God's <laughs> holy book, God. we, we win? I want to talk about, I'd, I'd love to talk about yes. when you first see Nick Cage and Ron Perlman together, who are essentially these crusading knights who <laughs> present themselves like two mooks. <laughs> They're like, hey, you take it, the 300 on the left, I'll I, take the 300 on the right. You're buying drinks tonight. It's, it's that's literally, literally we a really, line. We do really need to talk about the accents in this movie. I mean, <laughs> we like have a whole half hour. Eh, fuck it. Whatever you want to do. I, 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 whatever you want to do. I feel like at the what table read, yeah, at the table read, they were like, you know what? However you talk, that's how your character talks. <laughs> so British guys, you're British.